Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I do appreciate you clicking in to watch this video today. This video is simply going to be a quick show intel of some new planners that I purchased from Michaels. They recently had a sale. It was buy one recollection planner, get two for free. So I didn't need any more planners, but I wanted to go and see what they had and they had some new planners so I was I was a little excited to see what these planners were all about so I'm going to show you guys what I purchased and we'll do some little quick flip throughs okay so the first one that really excited me was this one because it is a to-do spiral planner Let's get in there. A to-do spiral, and it is undated, so we can use this at any time. And it is a six-month task focus calendar with a horizontal layout. So I thought that that was very interesting. I have never seen recollections have a to-do layout. So I wanted to see what it was about. This planner is normally $14.99, but of course, I got the buy one, get two free. This is my cover of choice. Um, this is the only one I saw. When I went there, they were kind of cleaned out. So I was like, oh gosh, let me just get what I could get. So it says, keep up the good vibes. And it's pretty. I like the colors and the florals. So when you open it up, you have this. The back of it is so cute. It gets you out a little bit more. Yeah, let me see if I can get you. Yeah, so um, this is so pretty to me. Um, I don't know. I can write on this. I could add another sticker or something there. But I like this. I like it so much. This says the best way to get things done is to simply begin. And it doesn't have a place that says this planner belongs to. So no name, which I don't mind because I can always put my name something over here, some kind of vinyl. But first thing you see is you have notes and thoughts. And you have monthly to-dos, a priority list, and notes. Which is good. And then it continues, notes and thoughts. And this is like the first, I guess if you want to say January. It's going to be like the first month. Then you have your routine, morning, afternoon, and evening. Like what do you do every day? And then we start off with our weekly week of what? And then you have what's to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a small area. It just has five lines to use. So it's quite small. But because you have this like dashboard type of thing here, you can use this to your benefit. So, so much doesn't have to go in the weekly spread. Then we have a to-do area. This is errands, housekeeping, to-buy, and appointments. So, yeah. And then you have like these blank areas here that you could add other titles or headers of your choice. Like you could to pay for like bills. You could do um, all kinds of other little things. You could do a filming log. And then after this like dashboard page, the next week starts. And then you get this again. So you have a lot to work with in a week. Um, I think this, oh, let's see. I think this morning routine kind of sets you up for the month, in my opinion. And then you do a weekly thing and then it's your errands housekeeping to buy hmm I think it's a lot I don't know how I would use this now I'm getting confused so it just goes through all these six months it's only six months long um, then here in the very back you have this my blank list I guess you could just write like to-do list, task list, or something like that. Um, and you get a whole bunch of them. 
bunch of them. And then here in the back, they give you some stickers, of course, if you want to date it with the monthly dates and some little icons here. And then you get that pretty dashboard again in the back. And then your back cover. And then that's done. So, yeah. Um, this reminds me a little bit of the Happy Planner Super Mom dashboard spread layout type situation. Hmm, I don't know how I would use this in my lineup only because I have this that I created that has my to do section. Um, I have a section here for like jotting down notes and stuff. Then I have this section here for reminders, I guess for like errands. So I kind of already have a system like that that I created. So I'm not sure how I would use this, but I may give this away because I already purchased it. And I really don't want to take it back because it was a very good deal to get two free planners for the price of one planner. So on to the next planner. Next one is this 12 month spiral planner. It says the horizontal weekly layout. Um, I honestly just got it for the cover. They were so slim at my Michaels. Like everybody and their mama already came in there and bought everything up. Uh, I was late because I wasn't even gonna go. I didn't need to go. Actually, like I said, I, I didn't need to, but I thought this was good material if I needed to do any giveaways or gift anyone. But this is beautiful. You're a gem, and it's got gold, uh, silver foil. And <clears throat> look at that back cover. Oh, you could flip this over. This is beautiful. And you have this quote, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. And you got somewhere to put your contacts. Like, who really uses this? I don't think anybody uses that. And you have important dates. Area for goals. This is a nice page. And you come to your first divider. And undated month. And then you have just the horizontal spread. I like their vertical, but I didn't like any of the covers. So I didn't get one of those. So that's that. And then it goes through all the weeks. And then the last page you get uh, this. It's just a note page. I love this. This is cute. Make today pretty. And then this one is like sugar um, candy, cracked candy or whatever. Use your imagination. This is pretty like a tie dye. You get a unicorn, another like marble art, dare to dream and dream big. Oh, I like the stars. You have some gems finally, some more horses, unicorns, excuse me, not horses. Then it says believe in magic. And then this says sprinkle your magic everywhere. This is cute. I don't get the correlation between the unicorns and the your gem. Like I would not have. I don't know why they put that in there but anyway then you get to the back and you have here some more stickers like before what you can make your monthly you have some icons and then this beautiful cover and then the pink yeah and that's pretty much it you're a gem so and the third and final one is this one which I liked this one I got this one for me this is the one I got for me <clears throat> Oops, out the way and this is a faith spiral planner is what it looks like and it's a little different and this is the reason why I got it because it's not like just a see that the, the issue I have when people use like the happy planner horizontal and things like that as a faith planner you have to make it work you know and I like it when it comes already worked you know it makes it easier for you so here we have this beautiful cover faith can move mountains it's just like some um, inspirational phrases, Phrases, excuse me, faith can move mountains, amazing grace, love, stand tall, see with faith, let light shine. And then this beautiful back cover with the fish, excuse me, this says rejoice and worship, which is nice. 
And then it has some lines where you can put your name or something here. And this first tab says daily study. And see, that's what I liked about this. It had sections. It was almost not more like a planner, but more like a notebook. And what is it called? Is it called? It's called a planner. Okay, so first you have your daily devotional. It has today's scripture that you can turn and write the scripture. You can put today's focus, notes, thoughts, questions. Today I am grateful for, and then you have more space to write. And it repeats itself. And this is your daily study section. And to be honest, you get a chunk of it. You get a whole bunch of it. So that's good. That is very good. So then when you get to the very back of it, the last page, you get this notes page. And then you get another. I like this dashboard, Fishers of Men. This is nice. So this says topical study. And then it says topical study has a topic, then has the scriptures, observations, and application for the topical study. So then you get that section, and then you get like this much of that section. And then the last page is this note page. Then this next dashboard, grace, blessings, joyce, and peace, and thankful. And this is a thoughts section. And it says thoughts and a prayer request. And this is all you have here. And then you have some stickers. And it's just one page of these stickers. And then you have the back cover. And of course, this is a gold coil. And then this um, nice back cover. And yeah, and that's it. It kind of shows you how they use it. Yeah. So, so I thought that this was good. So this is maybe the faith planner that I incorporate into my um, a lineup. I did also get another planner from Michaels. This one, um, this was in the clearance section, so I don't know exactly the brand that this is with. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But this planner, I got, they didn't have a price on it, so... The guy charged me $3 for it. And it says, I can do all things through Christ, through him who gives me strength. And when you open it up, pretty much this is what it looks like. And it's dated, but it says like, praise the Lord. And when you get to-dos, I am thankful for a prayer list. And then you have your monthly calendar. You have a verse of the week. You have days. And then this goes until you get to February. So that's the spread, pretty much, until you get to February. And that continues to go. I'm sorry, I'm not showing you this because I'm not supposed to show you this. And that's all you get in this planner um, that I got for $3 from Michaels on Clarence. But I like this one better because this one gives me more of a steady focus. So this will be more like, uh, I could use this for like a devotional plan or a study. So when I'm having my devotional time or my study time, I could document in this planner. As opposed to this planner where I may be able to keep like church engagement, dates of diff different church meetings and important things I have to do for services. I can keep that in here. And then here is more of a study situation. So... Yeah, so that's how I may incorporate this one. I'm still trying to figure it out. I will add it to my lineup. If you have not watched my lineup video, my MVP planners of the year, then you guys need to go back and look for that one. Um, it should be should have been posted before this video. But yeah, so I'm going to add this one in there um, for sure. I'm not certain about what I'm going to do with this. Because I feel like with this, I'm repeating what I already have. Um, yeah, and I really don't have routines that I stick by, which I should, but I don't. And then this one is just simply a horizontal, no big deal. So yeah, so those are the three recollections planners that I picked up. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you took advantage of that sale or if you guys have any of these planners, how do you use them? Like, how, how do you use this 
um, you know, let me know what you're doing. And see, this routine, I could do this. I could use this routine, like, for YouTube. Like, I don't know. Instead of morning, afternoon, I can do monthly, weekly, day, or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out if I decide to use it. But thank you guys, again, for watching this video. Uh, make sure you comment down below and let me know your planner lineup. Did you get any of these planners? Did you... Were you able to take advantage of the sale that Michael was having? They had some, a great sale. It was like 60% off of planner accessories. I think they got 50% off now, but they are like cleaned out. You know, sticker books were $8, $10. They had some new sticker books released from Happy Planner. But everything was kind of gone when I got there. So I was like, blah, 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 you know. But, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking and what you guys are doing for this year 2019 thank you again for watching and if you are not subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button also click your uh, notifications turn that bell on so that you're not going to miss any videos that I have coming up which are a lot because I'm focused this year to get my channel to where it needs to be. I've been on YouTube for a while and I just have not seen growth and it's my fault because I have not been consistent. So this year's trying to change that. I'm trying to definitely change that. So I need your guys encouragement. So comment down below with some sort of encouragement. I would be greatly appreciated. So thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.